what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel so today we're doing a pretty cool project it's gonna be a couple days at least and uh, this is part one of the uh, this project so we're going to be switching out these old rusted out evap coolers on this commercial building and we removing them and putting two evap coolers so this one these are no good right as you can see they're in horrible shape so is this one we're going to be taking them off and they want some downshot units that they have on the other side which i'll show you here in a bit to be installed here the ones over there are in very good shape and they're a much better quality evap cooler than this one so we're going to put them on these uh, jacks here. We're actually going to install new curbs, but to reuse that jack. So we're going to be doing these two right here. Do a quick walk around. Back up a little bit. We can see what's going on. All right. So you see they're in horrible shape. But it's okay. We're going to go ahead and fix it up. It's about to be that time of the year where they're not even going to be in use anymore so we're not going to do the we're not going to you know fill them up with water because winter is already here so we're we'll do that next spring or sorry fall is already here and winter is around the corner so there's no sense in filling them up with water um at least right now we'll do that in the spring so here's this one taking them off and again, we're going to reuse some coolers on the other side of the building that are in much better shape. So let me show you what that looks like. Okay, so here we are on the other side of the building. As you can see, these are the UMP EVAP coolers. These are a very durable and very good quality EVAP cooler. The price does also reflect that, but in our opinion is 100% worth it. So we're gonna go ahead and relocate these to way over there, right? You can see them, they're way down there. We're gonna relocate them and install them, but it is uh, important to note that the second part of this project will be, today we're just going to leave the jack currently, put a cap on it, okay, to you know keep the elements out on this one and that one over there see we'll walk to that one and part two will be us where it could be converting what these two evap coolers used to be are now going to be two new air conditioning systems all right so we're switching from evap to air conditioned uh systems okay so that space is now going to be fully air conditioned so that'll be part two but as for now, today, all we're going to do on this side is after we remove them, after we remove them and relocate them, we're just going to cap off the jack and leave the electrical put aside. So that's pretty much it for these. All right. So let's go ahead and get started. If you're wondering, um, not just mechanically, is this going to be a challenge, but we also have to, we had to get, sorry, the owner of this property had to get structural engineering to withstand the weight of the huge air conditioning units that you will see in part two of this project so we'll go ahead and get to it all right all right so here we have the big openings that were that we were left with because the ump coolers were here and we had our crane to move them away down there so we're going to go ahead and temporarily cap this off I'm gonna grab that side you can screw it from the side you really want to screw it from the side okay. anytime you can shoot screws uh, sideways versus on the top of anything where it can be rain it's uh, gonna be a lot better so okay so there it is go ahead and screw that on and uh, that's what we're gonna be left with till we come back with the new 
12 and a half ton air conditioning units. They're real big. Like I said, we still need structural. They need to reinforce, you know, all the framing underneath to withstand that. So that won't be for a little while. And here's the other hole. We'll go ahead and Mike will go ahead and cap that off. So let's go ahead and move on. Oh, and another thing too, we are not doing the electrical. They are going to take that care of that because the new units are 460 volt and uh, this currently is 208, but they'll go ahead and have their electricians do that. All right, and that's for both of them. Hey, bro, uh, first you got to put that, that one on. And then that goes on top of that, yeah. But that needs to be screwed on, okay? Okay, so this is what we are left with over here. This is where the old UMP cooler used to be. Went ahead and removed it, capped it off temporarily. Um, they need to do some electrical down the road. They will take care of that. And as you can see here, it's the other one. The other evap cooler that was in also very good shape that we moved way down there is also now capped off. This is temporary until, you know, we get the new air conditioners in here installed. Again, we're not doing the electrical there. We'll just leave that there for them to modify as they need to. And, uh, okay, that's pretty much it, y'all. So this is temporary. Again, that, is, that part will be a part two of this project. So let me take you to show you how the other coolers look now. Alrighty, so here is the new cooler. You can see here. We installed it. We got the new curb under there. So you get a close up here. There's the new curb. Our roofing portion was excluded. Uh, and actually, those curbs, uh, once the roofer once we let the roofer know, it, they swallowed the old curb. So it may not even need anything as far as roofing goes, but we'll let them decide that. Well, there they are, they're installed. They, we did level them. You can see here, we've uh, pretty much run out of time for today. So we'll go ahead and finish these up tomorrow. Um, there's our water line, we need to do that. Uh, electrical, again, they need to run electrical to this. But we'll get to it tomorrow. Uh, we've also filled up our trailer already with enough stuff that uh, we cannot fit anymore. So we'll just get the remainder of this stuff tomorrow. But uh, that's pretty much it, y'all. There you go. I don't know if you guys saw on the other side, but there's where the old cooler used to sit. And come over here. That's where the old EVAP cooler used to sit. So we also need to do the drains. But um, we run out of time for today. So we'll go ahead and button these up and uh, go ahead and head out. Call it a day. All right. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. And we will see you on part maybe two and three if it gets that far. So, all right, y'all. See you later.